Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we are gonna learn how to create custom buttons and top stitch. A lot of my projects are available on my CLO set account and also artstation. Link in the description. I appreciate your support, smiley face. To create custom buttons or top stitch, you need OBJ files, which you can get a lot of great OBJ files from websites like TurboSquid, Free 3D, C Trader, Sketchfab. I downloaded this hard OBJ file from TurboSquid, link in the description. If you use softwares like Blender or Threads Max, you know how to create and export OBJ files. But you can also make some fun shapes in Cloth 3D and export them as OBJs. For example, here with only Polygon tool and holding down Control key on my keyboard I made a cloud. Lower the particle distance. Select the cloud and right-click in the 3D window, select Zoom Extent All to see the pattern better. Right-click, select Strengthen, then right-click again and select Move to Ground Center. Simulate so the pattern lays down on the ground, if it's not doing that unstrengthen it. Also make sure that when you are looking at your fabric from the top view, above, you're looking at the front of your fabric. Right-click on the fabric and select Move to Ground Center again. You can also add some thickness to the pattern. Some last changes before exporting. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Let's export this cloud as an OBJ file. Choose the location that you want your OBJ file to be saved in. Also give it a name. This is the setup that I use to export OBJ. Change the scale to centimeters. Now you have an OBJ file. Let's make the custom top stitches first. To do this first create a pattern and add some internal lines. From the top stitch in the object browser, double click on the default top stitch. Scroll down in the property editor and click on the plus icon. Locate the OBJ file. From the width and length, you can see that the scale is not correct. Since we exported it as centimeters, it's better to put the scale on centimeters as well. The hearts do not look right in the preview, so we need to rotate them and change their axes. Here with only changing the Z to Y, we got what we wanted, but sometimes you need to change more than one axis. Now you can click on OK. You can change the width, height, and the space later too, in the property editor of the top stitch. You can also change the color and the material of the top stitch exactly like a fabric. Now if you apply the top stitch to the internal line, you will see the hearts. Let's try this with the cloud OBJ that we made. Do the same things we did earlier. If you have any question comment them down below so I can help you. Let's see how the clouds will look in this default setup of the axes. I don't want the clouds to be side to side, so I'm going to add them one more time and change the axes. This time I will change the Z to X and the X to Z. You can also flip the top stitch by clicking on its internal line with Edit Top Stitch tool and check the flip box in the Property Editor window. You can save or open the top stitches that you made from here. After saving them, you can open and apply them to an internal line. Now let's make the custom buttons. It's similar to the top stitch. From the object browser of the button, click on the plus icon and locate the OBJ file. Let's try the cloud one. As you can see the cloud is too small, you can scale it up by changing the width. You can also change its thickness. 
check the mesh box and then click on OK. Now you can change the color of the button or change its render type. Add some buttons. We can make a copy of this button setup and change some of its options. Let's make another button. This is a cat OBJ that I made in Blender. Scale it up by raising the width number and check all the mesh boxes. The cat is not looking correct. So we need to change its axis. Also if the cat appears gray in the preview, right click on it and select zoom extents all. Let's see the top stitches and the buttons in the render window, but first, giving some different material to them. You can change the lighting from the light properties as well. You can save the buttons or open the buttons you created before from here. Here I saved the cloud button setup and I opened it one more time. I will put the link to all the custom top stitches and buttons that we made today in description. And also some of the top stitches and buttons that I made myself are going to be there, smiley face. Thank you for watching. I hope that this tutorial was helpful. If you have any idea on how to make better tutorials for you, and also if you have a specific tutorial idea in mind feel free to share it with me, smiley face.